Corn, wheat, rapeseed, a quintessential French farm. But the produce here is not intended for French consumption. It's turned into bread over 7,000 miles away in China. The goal is to make China a market for bread. By being present in nearly every step of the production chain, we can provide better guarantees of nutritional security. Whose motto from French fields to Chinese tables could soon apply to other goods. He plans to expand into milk and meat imports. In four years, Hu has already bought 3,000 hectares of French land and plans to open 1,500 French-style bakeries by 2023. When we invest in French farms, it's no different to what the Brits or the Germans do. It stimulates economic development. In the future, the Chinese market for bakeries will increase dramatically. The land we've bought is too small. It won't be enough. We hope to satisfy most of our flour needs thanks to France. But France is worried. Although not illegal, who has taken advantage of a loophole to avoid France's preemption rights? SAFER can only intervene when 100% of company shares are sold. In this case, only 95 or 99% of shares were sold, so SAFER didn't need to intervene. The transaction was made in good and due form. President Emmanuel Macron says he will create tougher regulations, but these buyouts from China or other countries raise questions over the future of the French farming model as a whole. If it's a share, it means farmers can have profitability again. But the problem is we risk coming back to the old model where farmers were not independent or autonomous. They were sharecroppers, just serfs dependent on their lord. So where does it end? Hu Kikin says he will employ only French workers on his farms. His biggest challenge now is to convince his fellow countrymen to change their dietary habits and feed the red dragon some bread.